Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am the Budgeting Esthetician and today we're going to be doing an unstuffing of my expenses from my previous pay period, the last one of December, which was a magic month for me. Um, and then we will be doing my bill exchange and sinking funds update for December, which is the last one of the year, which is super exciting. Um, I cannot wait to start my 2024 budgeting videos with you guys, which I think I will be starting by doing a sort of like budget with me and like my goals for 2024, kind of explaining to you um, my process of kind of how I uh, plan out exactly how much I'm going to add to each sinking fund and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that, of course. Um, and then a uh, quick disclaimer, I am a cashless cash stuffer. So any of the bills you're going to see in this video are all prop bills as well as I want to make another quick apology for my voice in this video. Um, it might be a bit on the soft side because, um, I am still sick. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to not overdo it basically because, um, the more I do, the more I cough. So hopefully I can make it pretty easily through this whole video by keeping my voice a bit softer. So with all that being said, let's just get into it here and start with the unstuffing. Um, I just like to go through my spending that I do with you guys a little bit as well as my stuffing, just to show you kind of the full spectrum of budgeting and how I keep myself accountable to that. But we're going to go through it pretty quickly today, just because I really want the main like event of this video to be the bill exchange and sinking funds update. So, uh, I just put here all my sinking fund spending I do as well as my expenses. Um, which my fixed expenses come up here with my sinking fund spending and then my three variable expenses, gas, groceries, and spending. I add up all the individual transactions I've made for those three categories, which I keep on a different page. And then here I just total it all up just to not have to go through each and every single transaction of those with you guys. Gas and groceries is very self-explanatory. That's just always me filling up my tank for gas and buying groceries for groceries and then spending um, for me is just my personal allowance fund basically it's anything I want to spend money on it's personal care items eating out anything else um, for the most part so but yeah with all that being said we're gonna um, I'm gonna use my calculator first to add up uh, what we should have at the total of at, as the total at the end of the unstuffing here, just to be able to double check myself here. So we're going to add up um, all of the sinking funds, spending I've done here first, and then my fixed expenses I need to pull out, and then my variable expenses. Okay, so our total is $1,123 that we should have, hopefully, if I've done everything correctly, once I've pulled all the cash out. So I think we are going to start in my expenses and savings binder and do my expenses first. Um, so for my fixed expenses that need to come out, this pay period, we um, start off, I guess I'll just start off here in housing just because it's first, but um, my rent and utilities that I pay to my family that I stay with, um, I always try to give to them on the last day of the month. Sometimes it's the first day of the next month or what have you, but um, that is $300. So that should be everything in here, one, two, fifty, three hundred. Okay, and then I'll check that off here. Okay, next one we will come across is insurance here. So my first health insurance premium came out at the end of the month as well with my new updated premium, which is now $297 a month, unfortunately, but that's just exactly what we're pulling today. So let's do 250, 70, 90. 95 and 
97. Okay, now insurance still has 20, 35, 7, and 8 because that is half of a month's worth of my car insurance. And then last but not least, oh, let me cross that off. We are going into subscriptions next, though, for my um, extra iCloud storage I pay for every month, which is just $1. So this one is coming out. It's 99 cents, but I just round to a dollar. And we should have 14 left in here, 5, 10, 12, and 14 for my YouTube premium subscription that comes out next on stuffing. All right, so that is it for my fixed expenses. Moving along to my variable expenses. Sometimes I do budget different amounts for them, but typically I will budget the same amount and then sometimes I will spend more and sometimes I'll spend less. So gas, for instance, we budgeted 25 into here, but I spent technically 26.02. So I was negative dollar and two cents so that that can kind of hopefully be absorbed here because like for instance, groceries, I budgeted the normal 200 in here and I only spent 150.79. I kind of had an inkling. I was really gonna underspend in groceries this time around because of the holidays going over to so many people's houses and leftovers and whatnot. So that left me with $49.21 left over. And then spending, I budgeted $150 and we spent $149.09, which means I actually had $0.91 cents left over in there. So when you add all those up together, just those three categories, you get $49.10 going to my cushion because I underspent that amount. Um, and then we will be coming back to actually adding that money into cushion um, here in a bit. And then when you add in um, the $2.20 that I have up here from my giving sinking fund that I pulled out to make the amount I was pulling from my giving sinking fund an even number, that is how I got to $51.30, which I'm just going to round down to $51.00. But let's come back to that, I think. So we're going to go unstuff my sinking funds. I need to unstuff which are both in my short-term sinking funds binder here. So starting in giving, because of Christmas shopping, of course, we need to pull from in here. So I bought a gift card for $80. Um, let's see. I bought a planner for somebody for $9.21 for my mom, actually. I bought some scratch-offs for five dollars and then I had a secret Santa at work so I spent some money a little bit under, under $25 on them and then like I said that two dollars and twenty cents is going to my cushion so that I can just pull out an even hundred and twenty dollars from here so we're just pulling that out in this 100 and this 20 and we still have 20 40 50 in giving which I'm actually not completely done with my Christmas shopping um, I just, I'm not going to see the people I need to give everything else to yet. So, oh, and what am I doing? I'm not done with that. I can cross off everything from giving, but I still need to pull from household as well. Sorry, you guys, I feel like my brain when I'm sick is just not there, but household um, I'm pulling all this out, which should be 30, 10, 15, 25, and 30, because, um, I paid that to my, one of my family members who has a truck that was able to take my old match mattress and box spring to a dump and the fee for like a truckload, um, he said was $25. So I gave him $25 in cash. Um, so that I was, I decided to pull out of here because I just didn't really know where else to pull it from, um, frankly. So yes, and then I had to buy some cleaning supplies when I went to the store, but those were only $5 because it was literally just like um, barkeeper's friend and one other small thing. So all this is coming out for that. And then that is everything we need to unstuff today. 
and then we are going to check in make sure that this money I have up here is 1,123 so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred, fifty, nine hundred, fifty, one thousand, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety five, one hundred, one oh five, ten, fifteen, twenty two, and three. Perfect. And then I'm going to make sure before we start our condensing and sinking funds update here, which I think I'm going to just add that fifty, this fifty one dollars to cushion um, when I get to that one because I do want to take a look at it and see if I want to condense it at all too so and then if you see up here I have got two thousand dollars in prop bills that I'm going to need to condense my sinking funds here today so what I'm going to do is now do the math of how much I should have after I've done my condensing so let me grab my calculator again real fast And then starting with that $1,123, once we restuff that 51 into cushion, we'll have $1,072. And then what should additionally come out of my sinking funds when it gets condensed here is $1,500. If I've done everything correctly at the end of this condensing, I should have $2,572 in the tray up here when we're done. So. And then we will get started on my sinking funds update page here. Let's just start because I believe the only thing I do need to take really take track of in here in my expenses and savings binder is mainly my cushion. Um, I will talk to you guys about how there is still 1500 here in my ahead fund, which is emergency fund an emergency fund essentially and that still has 15 in there 1500 so that is no change um that's all in the bank of course in my high yield savings account so nothing there um, but then in my cushion we will be now adding that 51 dollars, which i'm just going to do in a 50 and the one and then let me see i think what I wanted to do, yeah, was just exchange two fives for a 10. Okay, so cushion, we had 400 at the end of last month and now we should have 551 after we added that 51 in here. So one, two, 253, 350, 400, 420, 40, 60, 80, 90, 500, 510, 15, no, 10, 5, 10, 25, 35, 40, 42, 4, 6, 8, 9, 50, and 5, 51 in cushion, which is perfect. So 551, which is obviously a difference of a positive 151 from last month. Um, and then these next two are going to be pretty easy because rainy day used to have 1500 but we depleted that um, to zero by buying a new mattress go watch not my last video but the video before that to see all that and then my savings is gone down to zero as well i had 455 at the end of last month we stuffed that up to 500 for my $500 savings challenge, but I just redistributed, restuffed that money. So, um, but we will start this again next year with a new savings challenge. So that is everything for this binder. So let's just start in my long-term sinking funds binder, since that is usually where we start when stuffing. Okay, annual bills is still empty. We will start stuffing that next paycheck, though, I promise. Okay, and then business is going to be a big change. It started the month with 40 and now has 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 83, 3, 20, 40, 65, 75, 375. Okay, 
Okay, so that is a difference of positive 335, I believe. And then to condense this, we're gonna keep 200, a 20, and a five, and then I believe this should be 150. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, five, and 50. So all this will be going down. Oops. Four, a 100, and a 50. And now we should still have 375 in here. One, two, three, 50, 75. Perfect, 375 in business. Is this two? help me pay for a certification I want at work for my work and then car this one's going to be exciting you guys we started the month with thirteen hundred dollars and now we have one thousand one two three four five six seven eight nine hundred nine fifty and two thousand dollars so that means just in the month of December we have added $700 to this fund. This is so exciting. And so we're gonna keep this 1,000 and then this is all gonna go down for another 1,000. So, we're gonna put that down and grab my other 1,000 placeholder from Intentional Living, by the way. So we now have 1,000 and 2,000 in car for my savings challenge in there to get a new car hopefully next year and I will keep stuffing this in 2024 f just a little bit each month um, for like car washes and stuff like that but um, yes so exciting okay home home began the month down here with 660 and now home has 500 600 50 700 50 800 50 900 9, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95, and one thousand dollars. The first one thousand out of five thousand for our savings challenge in here, and that should be a positive three hundred and forty, I believe. So this is all obviously going to go down for a one thousand dollar slip. So we're going to put that back there let's see 100 50s okay all right and that is one thousand dollars in home which next year I will go more through um, and actually decide on how much I want in different categories and whatnot for this one but for now we just have that first thousand in there. Okay, medical. Medical began the month with 255, and now it has one, two, fifty, seventy, ninety-five, and three hundred. Three hundred, so that would be a positive forty-five dollars. And then we're gonna keep this two hundred, and this should be one hundred, fifty, seventy, ninety-five, and one hundred. Putting that down and taking a hundred. One, two, three hundred is still in medical. And then pet care um, was one fund. I did not think I was going to start stuffing this year. So it started the month with zero, but it is ending the month with 100, which is a positive 100 because I did end up just getting extra income than I was planning on. So that is going down for 100 and I haven't honestly I don't think I've decided exactly how much I'm going to be stuffing this one every month because I haven't decided whether my goal for next year is just 1000 or 1500 so I don't know anybody with pets and experience with like first getting them how much would you recommend to save to start off for like not only buying everything they need at the very beginning um, but also having, I want a little bit, like at least a thousand dollar emergency fund, I think, and for like potential, you know, emergencies and whatnot. So that is pet care. And then going into travel, 
we added a decent amount in here with our extra income this month as well. So travel it began the month with 200 and now we have 100 in trip, which is condensed, 100 in stay, which is condensed, 200 in food, which is fully condensed, but miscellaneous can be condensed. So it has 50, 70, 95, and 100. So there we go. So we should have 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500 in travel. Which is a positive $300 just for the month of December, but I will say when I kind of think of it, uh, 250 of that was from my $500 savings challenge. So that was essentially money I had already saved. Okay, so that means that whole binder is condensed, which I feel like it feels so much thinner and lighter now. And then onto my short-term sinking funds binder. Okay, we are starting with Adventures, which is all the way up here. We started the month with 60, and now Adventures has 50, 65, 75. I'm going to cut that out, but you guys, I just threw my Apple Pencil, like halfway across the room okay 75 <laughs> in adventures means we stuffed 15 in here this past month which i usually just stuff 10 or was just stuffing 10 but i wanted to get it up to a pretty number so we are just going to be putting down this 10 and two fives for a 20 and we still have 50 75 in adventures uh, clothing cannot be condensed because we just stuffed it in my last paycheck with 25 but that is down by 25 from the 50 it started with because I did add a lot to this but also then spend it Giving, giving started the month with 90, and now it has 20, 40, 50. So that's negative 40 in there because of Christmas. So we're just going to put down these two 20s and a 10 for a 50. Okay, holidays started with 35 and now has 20, 35, 45, and 50. So it's a positive 15. And let's see, did I say 50? 20, 30. Yes, so all that's going down for a 50. Household is empty, but it started with 15, so negative 15 in there. And miscellaneous. Miscellaneous started with 25 and is ending with 10, 20, 35, 45, and 50. That we added from my $500 savings challenge. And that's all going down. A fifty and last but not least, Pamper started with one fifty five and has one fifty, no, fifty, seventy, ninety five, and one hundred. So it's a negative fifty five. And there also, um, this one actually is my Roth IRA, which, um, I just always count as having 500, but I don't honestly consistently check it because I don't consistently add to it. Um, so it varies slightly, you know, based off the market, but I just count it as 500. So anyways, this is all going down for a $100 bill. Oh. 
So that concludes the condensing there. Um, so I'm going to add up all of our totals for all of our sinking funds and savings at the end of the year. Um, see how we did um, between November and December as well. So let me grab my calculator again. Okay, 75. We actually went down from last month, you guys. So we have 7,176, but I think that is very impressive. Seeing as how last month we had 7,240, but I had the thousand, where it's at 1,500 in my rainy day fund. So I think the fact that we almost met back up to zero in these funds is actually really impressive. So let's just see, minus 7240 means we only went down $64 when we spent that much. That's kind of crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go through this column here off camera and just double check and make sure I did everything right with that. Okay, yes, double checking, I was correct, which I kind of feel like is a miracle. <laughs> okay, and then the last thing we have to check is to make sure that all the bills we have up here equal that amount we said earlier. And I realized what I should have just done. Um, the way that I did the math means that's the amount we should have excluding this $500 um placeholder up there but since really I have all prop bills I probably should have just included that which would have meant the number if I counted with that would be what three thousand and seventy two dollars but I'm just gonna leave it this way I think just since I kind of already did my math that way and yeah I feel like this is a super satisfying stack for prop bills <laughs> definitely the thickest stack out of all of the condensings I've done so far. Okay, so let's give this money a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred, one thousand. First one thousand. One, two, three hundred, a thousand three hundred. 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 5900, 1900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2000, 2000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 2003, 40. 2003, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, 10, 20, 30, 2004, 30, 5, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 500, 2500, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 70, and 2, 2572 then is correct but like I said if you want to technically count the 500 I pulled out as well it's 3072 that was still a very very exciting bill exchange and sinking funds update even despite being negative from last month we were barely negative which means we saved almost $1,500 in December but all right, you guys, that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed. Give the video a like if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. Our next goal is still 400 subscribers. So please, 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 if you want to keep seeing more content like this, please subscribe. With all that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and your week until I see you again. And I will see you guys later. Mm -hmm.